Welcome back to West Down Official. I hope you are all well. This is the Group B. <clears throat> sorry, the Group B and the Group C are doing it all together in one video today. A roundup and review um, of the two groups. I hope you're going to enjoy the video. If you do, drop a like on it and subscribe if you are new around here. And we'll get straight on in with it then. We'll start, of course, with Group B's results and then we'll go into the table and then Group C's results and then we'll go... <clears throat> into the table so group b we will start off with them so the first the first game was um denmark nil finland won and if if you do remember i certainly remember it will stay with me for a long long time this is where uh we had the so unfortunate event of christian erickson collapsing um as we know now as a car cardiac arrest on the pitch uh and sent shockwaves through the world and of course through the world of football finland managed one once they've restarted this game for the second half, managed to get all three points. But um, honestly, fair play to both sides and even for Denmark for A, carrying on this competition and B, after what they've just seen and what that mental mental effect that, 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 that must have had on them. Absolute hats off to them. They didn't win, but to be honest, hats off for them to even agree to go back out there and play that second half. Absolutely incredible. Um I'll link my uh, re 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 reaction to the Christian Eriksen cardiac arrest in the in the description down below. Uh, the next game, then, but let's let's put that to the side. Next game, uh, Belgium kicked off their campaign with a three 0 win over the World's Cup hosts of 2018, Russia. Um, this is another disappointing tournament, I think, for them. Uh, let's be honest, and Belgium. I think they, I think they eased past them to be honest. Three 0 fantastic start for Belgium. Uh, not the start that Russia would have wanted, but of course it's a really, really tough side to come up against. First, it's Belgium. They got some fantastic players. And the next game was another nil one, and Russia got the points this time. It was Finland nil, Russia one. In this game, Russia kicked off their campaign with three points. Well, they were they didn't because they lost to Belgium but their first three points on the board was this one uh, and Finland lost um, lost which they must have been disappointed about after winning their last game uh, so good for Russia bad for Finland and then we move on to Denmark's next loss and it was Denmark one Belgium two Belgium kept on going with another three points on the board they conceded they conceded this time to Belgium uh, um, to Denmark sorry but they still got all of the points and you know they look good. They they look half good, Belgium. Uh, not that they're coming up against ridiculously good sides, but as I keep on saying, you've got to beat what's in front of you, and they have been doing that. Now, moving into last night's game then. Russia won, Denmark 4, just so they could get the points on the board, and we're going to have a look at the extremely tight group table in a minute, but that really, really helped. Their goal difference, their points and everything did this for Denmark, and really a surprise out there. I think Near on, like 30 uh, half time, it was nil nil, and then a flurry of goals from Denmark, a goal from Russia as well. Uh, exciting game for the neutral, that I'm sure I didn't watch it, but exciting game for the neutral, I am sure. Um, hats off to Denmark, complete hats off to Denmark after what they've been through in the last week. Um, and the and the and the final game of the group of the group took place at exactly the same time, which was Finland nil, Belgium two. So that's three from three for Belgium uh, and Finland. You know they started all right, and then uh, it all fizzled out towards the end. Let's have a look at the group table then. So this is tight, I tell you. Uh, so <laughs> obviously Belgium three from three right there. Do get automatic promotion for the first spot and Denmark have moved up into the second um, automatic promotion spot. Now they've done it after their goal difference was boosted by three to get past Finland on goal difference. So it goes Denmark on three points with one plus one goal difference. Finland with three. Um, Finland with three points as well with minus two goal difference. So it was three goals in it. And then and then Russia with minus five on the goal difference. And that was heavily down to their um, down to their thumping at the hands of Denmark. Oh, that's so tight. Um, so how this works now, the top two go through to the round of 16. The th a third place, as we discussed yesterday, I'm not going to go through it every single time. I'll link the video where I discussed all of that in my group A review in the description down below. Um, uh, so the so the third uh, the third uh, placed team will will go will will go in a massive third where there's six teams, a massive third place league, and they'll 
and the four teams with the highest um, highest points or goal difference or whatever goes through to make up the 16. Uh, and Russia, of course, are going home. So there we go. That was an extremely tight, extremely tight last uh, last game for that group then. Absolutely fantastic to see. Um, the, it was a bit nail-biting for everyone. But we'll move into Group C then, where uh, we did start off with Austria 3, Macedonia, or North Macedonia 1. Wow, wow, wow. North Macedonia, they they got a goal. Fair play to them. Austria managed to get three past them, though, and that was the difference. Two goals. Austria um, Austria could have got a few more. I think North 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 Macedonia will be happy. Um, no, not happy, but they'll be they'll be content with themselves that they got a goal and they didn't get absolutely thrashed. I think so. You know, good for Austria. North Macedonia won't be too uh, distraught with that. I don't think. Um, next one now. Now this was a thriller. Netherlands three, Ukraine two. Now there was everything in this game. I think it was two 0 Netherlands on the 80th minute. All of a sudden, it's not a bird. It's not a train. It's an Andrei Yarmolenko stunner. Oh dear, this made me look like a right plonker, honestly. Honestly, honestly, honestly. But, yeah, what a goal. Bended perfectly into the top corner to make it 2-1. They score two minutes later, it's 2-2. And then Netherlands go up, go up, they go up, go up the other end in the last minute and get all three points. That is what football's about, that is for sure. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic game, that. Uh, next one, did in Crane, um, did in Crane, did include Ukraine as well, where they got two past North Macedonia. They scored again, North Macedonia, that's two goals on the board. If that is the positive that, that they're going to take out of this tournament, but they did yet again lose to Ukraine. Two goals to one in that one. Uh, the next game, Netherlands got another three points on the board against Austria, where it was two nil. Uh, Netherlands, they, they've, they've, they, they have, they have looked all right in this tournament. I think they've, they've breezed past their opponents, in my opinion. Well, not quite Ukraine, not quite Ukraine. That was a bit squeaky bum time that one. Um, but you know, another. Another good win for them. Uh, North Macedonia, uh, a little bit of a thrashing, three 0 to Netherlands, which I think we all we all uh, expected. Some people go four, five 0 but Macedonia, um, North Macedonia, held it out to just three goals and ended off their competition with no points and two goals scored. And the final game was Ukraine nil. Austria was disappointed for Ukraine to end on a loss. Fantastic for Austria with Marco and Antovic back in the side uh, that they got all three points there. Let's have a little look at the table then. So here we go. So Netherlands finished. The Netherlands finished. Top of the group. Play three, won three, nine points on the board. A goal difference of six. Austria has just, well not, no, not just. They've made it through because they have played three games, one, two, and a goal difference of one. And then three points behind, a win behind is Ukraine, uh, who are on three, um, who are on three games played, one game, one and two games lost, which which results then in three points and then three points. And then North Macedonia finished last with three three games played, three games lost, minus six goal difference. Oh dear, poor old North Macedonia. So that means the top two, Netherlands and Austria, will be going through automatic promotion and Ukraine have to go into the, the group, um, the the third place table to see if whether they can make it into the last 16. So there we go. That is the group B and C roundup done. We will be back for, uh, obviously for the D, E and F, which is left when those those finish and then of course we go to the round of 16 quarterfinals semi-finals and the final lots more to come on west ham and official so subscribe to the channel england content um england content euros content and you know this is called west ham and official so you're gonna get some West Ham content as well. That was swift, wasn't it? <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. And, and, of course, you will get transfer updates as well for the Hammers. We haven't signed anybody yet apart from uh, apart from Academy players. But hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. We'll see you very, very soon. Cheers, guys. Come on, you guys. Up the three lines. And we'll see you very soon. Cheers, guys.